Hi, I'm Peggy Bowes, author of The Rosary Workout at rosaryworkout.com. I'm going to talk to you about some ideas for healthy lunch boxes. First of all, you're going to need a, a main course, and sandwiches are always an easy choice. You want to try to get um, whole grain bread, if it's at all possible. This is pumpernickel. You can also try rye or whole wheat bread. Um, there's even whole grain white bread that's available in the supermarkets now. Another idea are these little deli flats. They're sort of like real thin hamburger buns, and they come in whole grain, and they're really low in calories and, and good in, and high in nutrition. Another idea um, are mini bagels. Uh, you could put two or three of those um, in your child's lunch, and you could uh, include um, a, a meat filling or maybe something um, like peanut butter or cream cheese, uh, and that will help keep your child full. And again, try to get a, a whole grain type of bagel. If you want an easy way to do sandwiches and you're pressed for time in the morning, you can always get everything ready the night before. What I like to do is put the, um, the bread in a separate bag so that the sandwich doesn't get soggy. In fact, on Sunday, if I know it's going to be a busy week, I'll get all the sandwiches ready for everybody all at one night. So everybody has to just grab a baggie or um, one of these um, plastic containers and then just go on their way. So first of all, um, just the bread in a bag. And then I take some cheese and put it between a, a piece of wax paper so it doesn't stick to the lunch meat. Uh, I get some lunch meat. Uh, turkey is a really good idea um, for a healthy sandwich, as well as lean ham, lean roast beef. Try to avoid the fattier cuts of meat, such as bologna and salami, and try to go with a healthier cut. Uh, so I just put these together with um, a little bit of wax paper, throw them in a baggie, and seal it up. And then if your child will have... Um, lettuce or tomato, you could put that in a separate bag too. And um, a condiment such as mayonnaise or mustard or dressing can just go in one of these small containers. That way all you have to do is grab the baggies, put it in the lunch box, and they're ready to go. Uh, if of course you have time in the morning, you can always make a sandwich and just wrap it up. Some kind of non-traditional ideas if your child doesn't like sandwiches are to try um, pita chips and hummus. Again, you can get the whole grain pita chips. They're really delicious. And hummus, um, you can find it in the small containers, uh, individual containers, or you can just get a bigger container of hummus. And try it out with your child um, after school as a snack and see if they like it, and that might be a good alternative for sandwiches if your child doesn't always like sandwiches. Uh, some non-traditional sandwich ideas are also good, like um, as a child I know I always liked raisin bread spread with cream cheese or peanut butter, and that might be an option for a child who doesn't like lunch meat. Um, another idea is to create your own Lunchables. Uh, what I did is I took some lunch meat and some cheeses, and I uh, used, cut the, them into shapes using cookie cutters, uh, which is kind of more fun for a younger child. Then add some whole grain crackers, and you can put them all in one of those uh, reusable containers, and uh, you save money and have a more nutritious option without all the preservatives for your child. Uh, peanut butter is always really popular. What I've done here is taken a whole grain um, tortilla and spread it with peanut butter, and then you can sprinkle it uh, for a little extra nutrition with either um, wheat germ or ground flax seed, and then spread some honey or some molasses on top of that and roll it up and cut it into little pinwheels and then put it in a reusable container. Um, those are, are easy to eat and, and very nutritious, especially if you use natural peanut butter. And um, at Walmart, they now have these natural peanut butter packets, which come with um, about two to three tablespoons of peanut butter. And uh, you could put, pack those in there to spread on a bagel or um, perhaps on a sliced apple or a banana um, or crackers. And that's really a good way to keep your child going. And they even make Dark Chocolate Dreams peanut butter. It's by the Peanut Butter and Company. And that is just amazing when you um, put it on top of, ban of a banana. We all like that in my family. And uh, it's fairly healthy because it is natural peanut butter. Um, another idea is uh, these little cheese wedges. You can spread these on crackers um, or just eat them with um, an apple or some grapes. And those are a nutritious way of getting some protein and they come in these little um, circular containers. Um, and uh, you could have uh, fruit to add with, with uh, the lunch to um, give your child some antioxidants which are really needed uh, in the school day to help brain functioning and to help your child prevent disease and uh, fruits and vegetables are very important to uh, include at every meal. Grapes are easy. You can wash them the night before and put them in a bag or a container. Um, these little citrus fruits are called clementines or cuties, and they're small. They're really easy to, pe to peel, and they're great to throw in a lunchbox. My kids love these. 
Apples are also good, but a lot of kids uh, have a hard time biting into apples, or if they have braces, they can't do that. So you can slice it up and then sprinkle it with a little bit of pineapple juice or a little bit of lemon juice, and that way the apple slices won't turn brown. Bananas, of course, are always good. Again, you can um, spread those with peanut butter or just eat them plain. Um, vegetables, uh, baby carrots are always popular, especially the little petite kind because they're easy to chew. And uh, you can include um, a little bit of ranch dip for your child if they like, don't like to eat the vegetables plain. Same thing goes for um, celery sticks. You can slice them up and add peanut butter. Or um, Philadelphia now makes these little uh, cream cheese containers. It comes in plain or low fat, strawberry, and a couple other flavors. And those are really nice to tuck in the lunchbox and they can be spread on sandwiches or crackers or um, you can spread them on top of the celery sticks too. Dried fruit is also very healthy. You can buy these little containers of dried cranberries or um, raisins, of course, are always a good choice. And to eat, add even extra nutrition, um, you can get your child a mix of dried fruit and nuts. And the nuts, um, although they might be high in fat, they're a very healthy fat, and they keep your child going for a long time. And I picked up this mix at Costco, and I can put it into a whole bunch of little baggies or containers, and it lasts for quite a while. So a combination of dried fruit and um, nuts. But you want to keep the por portions fairly small because they are low, pretty high in calories. If your child likes a little crunch, chips are always good. Um, I like the whole grain type of chips, the multi-grain chips. Or you can include um, a Nutri-Grain bar or a Chewy bar or some other type of um, whole grain bar to uh, keep your child going if they need some, a little bit of extra food. Another idea is to take a thermos and uh, if you want to include something cold, like perhaps yogurt or cottage cheese, um, you can freeze these the night before, and that way um, the food will stay nice and cold uh, so that by the time, the time your child eats it, it won't be too warm. On the other hand, if you want to include a, a warm meal, like soup or stew or macaroni and cheese or maybe something left over from dinner, what you can do is get the food as hot as possible in the microwave or the oven and then preheat this thermos by filling it with hot or boiling water and then just dump out the water and add the food and that should stay warm until lunchtime. Juice is always good. Uh, I try to avoid the Capri Suns and those, I know they're less expensive but they're not as healthy because they're filled with sugar um, and they don't have a whole lot of juice in them. So you want to try to get 100% um, juice and either the little bottles or the boxes. And I sometimes put them in the freezer because that way they act as a cooler pack. You don't have to add a cooler pack to the child's lunch. Finally, I like to add a little treat every now and then. I don't do this every day, but something like an Andy's Mint is kind of a special treat. My children love those. Or maybe a little mini Snickers bar that has some, um, some nuts in it so that'll also give your child a little bit more nutrition and staying power. Um, dessert probably is not necessary at every lunch, but every once in a while it's kind of an unexpected treat. And then since I'm a Catholic mom, I like to add another little um, dimension to the lunchbox, a spiritual dimension. Um, I'll tuck in a prayer card. This one is the Guardian Angels of the Little Metal, or um, the Immaculate and Sacred Heart, or a prayer card of the Holy Family, um, or maybe my child's patron saint or the saint of the day. Um, it's just a little reminder um, that we are um, Always, you know, we should be praying constantly, and we need to teach our children to do that, too. Another option is to do the scene of the day. I like a website called HolySpiritInteractive.net uh, forward slash kids forward slash saints. And uh, that has little short biographies of the scene of the day every day for the year. And you can print those out ahead of time, cut them up, and put it in your child's lunchbox for um, a little bit of um, saint history. They're, they're really good role models for our children and that they practice heroic virtue which is what we hope of our children. Another option is to just do an index card and write out a Bible verse. Maybe your child's working on memorizing a Bible verse or something that just seems significant to their day. I wrote out, let the children come to me and do not hinder them for to such belongs the kingdom of heaven, Matthew 19, 14. Or even just chuck, tuck a little note with a heart and a smiley face and say, I love you. Uh, or a cartoon from Sunday's paper, something to let your child know that you're thinking of them. So I hope these ideas will help you uh, and your children um, become healthier. And you, cannot, you can use these ideas for work, too. If you work or your husband works um, or somebody else, an older teen goes to work, you can use these ideas for lunch boxes, too. It's always better to have lunch from home because you have control over what goes into the lunch box. And um, it, you can make it much more healthy that way. Thank you, and God bless.